Hello there, how's it going? This is the Rosario Network with me, Rich Walker, and with me today is Dan Webb. That was the most casual of starts I think we've well, ever had. Know. Hello everybody, welcome to the I Rosario Network. I wonder if you were to, you know, feel like they're a friend. Hey old friend, welcome. Hello. <laughs> this is 11-11, uh, Memories Retold, Dan. It is a collaboration between... Oh, Digix Art or something like that, and Ardman Animation, the plasticine people of Wallace and Gromit fame. And it's a World War One story painted in kind of oil oil strokes. It's more sort of oily, is right? It? Is it? Kinda. Watercolor's not as kind of dense as this. Um, but yeah, it's uh, World War One. It's kind of an intimate story, kind of the people who were involved in it, kind of personal tales, uh, there's puzzles... There's exploration. So what kind of a game is it, Rich? Because I know absolutely nothing about this. All right, well, I guess it's an adventure, a third-person adventure. So, uh, yeah, you play on both sides of the war as well. So this is me as a, a German fella. Whoa, which war? World War One. World War One. So, uh, yeah, I was the, the video opened with the British side, so uh, a photographer... You're sent out there as a war photographer. This one, you're building zeppelins in a German kind of uh, warehouse. So um, they're both, they both have personal connections. They've got people they've lost out on the front lines who they want to go and find. Is it a little bit and like this Valiant is, Hearts? It's kind of, yeah. It's kind of in that sort of vein, story-wise at least. I like the art style. See, do you know what? At first I thought, God, it's a bit too busy, it kind of moves too much. And it felt like it was sort of covering up kind of shoddy graphics. I sort of wondered, did they kind of set out to make this in con- conventional means, kind of conventional 3D graphics, and thought, ugh, sort of covered it with this I know, I actually effect. really like it. But it grows on you. It grows on you. It really does. When you're playing it, it's quite good. It takes a little bit of getting used to. But do you see how it's sort of constantly moving? It's a bit weird at yeah, first. Yeah, it's flickering, right? Yeah, it's kind of very strange. But I mean, there are a few games that have an art style like this. I mean, I can't name one that's got an art style like this. Child of Light was kind of watercolor. Not like this, uh, though, not right? to this degree. No. Well, you just no. said this was uh, oil-based. Rich. Well, it looks not more watercolor. oily to me. Do you know what I mean? Sort of oh, oil like painting. This. Yeah. So this is like you know emerging from the trenches. You're trying to follow your captain there. Um, but you have to use cover and stuff, so you've got to obviously avoid the, the fire, machine gun fire. It's I, crazy I honestly, to think that this was real, this actually happened. They, they just gunned down people in their droves. I still have no idea what this game's about, though, in terms of, like, actual game. What, what do you, what what do you, what you mean, you what doing? the object is? No, like, is it a puzzle game, an adventure game, what is it? It's kind of a bit of both. I mean, like, I mean, the puzzles are pretty basic. Like, there's that radio thing, I had to just flick all the switches and tune it in. Um, this one now, the guy needs water to cool his gun, and then I've got to get him ammunition in a bit, which I have to lower it like an elevator to get it. Um, so so it's, it's very kind of basic. Story-driven narrative adventure game. Pretty much. Featuring Elijah Wood as well. Okay, who's uh, he? Harry? I or think Barrett? he plays Harry. Um, He's the photographer? Yeah, the photographer guy. So this guy I am now. Elijah Wood. He loves his games. He does, yeah. He's just come off the back of Transference, hasn't he? Doing that. Um, yeah, that so was his own studio, though, right? Yeah. yeah so this is just... Uh, well, that's what it's, uh, considering this is, I would, I'm going to say, relatively indie. Yeah. But I guess it's got some, like, the Wallace and Gromit people behind it as yeah. well. So there's uh, some pedigree there. Bandai but, Namco Publishing. But yeah. still, like, to get Elijah Wood on a game that isn't a AAA exactly, franchise right. is quite odd it's not bad is it it's, yeah. yeah but what well, in I mean, a good way of course do you like the art style though you, you dig it i don't i do yeah it's it's certainly interesting it's different so yeah this is wire i need to fix the uh, elevator wiring to then get the ammunition down it looks like a lot of busy work at the moment though yeah i mean it's fairly simplistic i mean this is just flicking the switches up it's not really much <laughs> much to that wow puzzle. Yeah, I, if the puzzles got a bit more complicated later on, it might be interesting. Well, yeah, yeah. how long is this? How long was the demo? 20 minutes? I've been playing... Well, this is a seven-minute video, but I played for, a, I'd say, a good 40 minutes at oh, least. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that photography bit at the beginning, there's a lot more to that. You, you end up photog- photographing... Photographing. <laughs> photographing, like, um, your sweetheart or something before. You know, like, you, you go away kind of thing. Um, 
And yeah, there's a lot more sort of climbing Ooh. around and exploration in that is Zeppelin that kind of warehouse. No, no, this is scripted. This is oh, scripted. Okay. So I end up in this hole and... Uh, it's like me on a Sunday morning. I think, I think this might be a pivotal moment. I think. There's a bit where Harry and Kurt meet and it's like, ooh, and there's some sort of human level understanding between them, if you know what I mean. Is that Kurt? That's uh, Barrett. So you've got so you, you've got decisions as well as Kurt. You can save Lothar, your buddy. Or what? Well, I don't know. I guess Lothar gets shot. Why would you let him get shot? Well, this is it. I don't know. Well, it's not I mean, much of a decision. No, it's not save much of a Save him decision. or let him die. Well, yeah, it's, it's a funny one. But um, it would just be interesting, I guess, to see what would happen. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so this is where uh, they bump into each other. And so again, you can shoot or lower your gun. So you can shoot the other protagonist? Yeah, that you're playing as. So right? is that game over for him? Well, I don't know. Did you not shoot him? I put my gun down. You should I have put shot my gun him! Down. Why would I do that? That's that, madness. I, I, now you're a fox. Now I'm a cat. It's is a, a cat? cat chasing a bird. Like, what? Yeah, I <laughs> know, right? It's random, isn't it? So It's really dark as well. Yeah, it's super dark. You're in these little holes and you can run around. And you like, get, what were they smoking when they made this game? I don't know. Were the cats running around under the trenches in World War I? I, I, I don't know. I, I, I never heard the I, story. I, don't, I should have shot him. should have shot him. Really? How would you, how, why would you do that? Well, I don't know. Just, just to push was, the boundaries. Yeah, just to see what happened. Oh, this I, is the end of your gameplay demo as well? Yeah, pretty much, pretty much. So you wouldn't have known what happened anyway? No. <laughs> and now they're best friends forever, Rich? Possibly, possibly. So it's a lovely, touching, personal story. Rich, when's it out? Uh, it's out, I think, in is November. It on the 11th? November. I think it's out in November. Um, on the 11th? That would make sense, wouldn't it? Yeah, but, uh, yeah that was 11-11, Memories Retold. That's coming to all the formats in soon. November soon. Yeah, so thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Cheers, folks. Bye. Bye.